Hello guys, I continue a weekly tradition on this YouTube channel to have at least one video about Livewire every week. And a coincidence, every week I try to release a new Livewire kit component. So there is a lesson for you and a component in my collection. So today we have a component that would help you to dynamically add new categories, new options for your dropdowns to the main form. So first I will show you how it works and then we'll dive into the code to see how the code works. So you see an empty form and you want to add a new product, for example, a water bottle. And then in the categories, you don't find the category of beverages and you want to create that on the fly. So you click this, add beverages, save, and then that category appears in the dropdown and then you can save the product successfully. So this is how this component works, or in fact, it is two components. This is one component and this button with the model window is another component. And let's take a look how it works in the code. So in the code, in your main blade file, you load Livewire component just by loading the main form, product create in this case. That main form contains two fields of product name, wire model to product name, and then categories is a dropdown, wire model to product category, and then categories are loaded from the live wire component. I will show you that in a minute. So typical form with two fields wire modeled, right? But then there's another link or button with wire click to emit an event. And that event is listened in another component. So at the bottom of the main form, you have this. So you may load one component into another component and in category create, if we open category create, there's a main variable show model or not. And inside of that model, you have wire submit save where the category is saved actually. So another form, another wire model with name, validation, so separate component. There's a submit button for the form and there's close model for the form. And if we take a look at the category create component, here's the show model thing name is the main variable of the category name. And here's the main thing. Open model is an event name and listener name and method name, which is fired from the product create from this emit open model. Then the method open model is fired. Show model equals true. Then render happens again. And if show model, remember in category create on top this. So we don't have hidden class anymore. And the model opens up. Then when the category is saved, we validate. So the validation happens. And if something goes wrong, the validation error appears in that model. Otherwise, we create the category. We reset the name as it was empty. And then we emit another event, which is caught by the main form. So basically, we're not passing the categories to the main form, but we're passing the event of please reload the categories. And we close the model. Now in the main product create component, we have categories as a public property. And here's our listener. And here's an interesting thing. That's the first time I tried it myself, but it totally works. Before that, I was always calling mount event only once and forget about it. It's kind of like constructor for the whole Livewire component, right? And we're setting the categories once. And the only case where we need to reload those categories is actually that listener. So no one is preventing us from calling the mount again which would reload the whole categories collection. And when the form is submitted, it's a typical thing for Livewire, validation, saving the data, and then resetting the variable. So this is the set of two components. And if you want to get the full code, you can go to livewirekit.com. So now I have 29 Livewire components and scroll down. And the 29th is actually that drop down option on the fly. And if you want to get all of those, ironically, the price is $29 for 29 components. I didn't plan that, but now it's even. So you have $1 per component price, but I don't sell it one by one. It's 29 for everything. And with pricing, I think I will continue that flexible pricing of I will add more components. And as soon as I reach 39, for example, I will raise it to $39. So if you buy it now, you will get the invitation to the repository with all the future components for free. But at some point that price will raise up. Not sure when. And that's actually a question to you guys. To be honest, I'm running out of ideas for new Livewire components. So if you are a Livewire kit customer and don't see something that I could create with my team, shoot in the comments or email me directly, povelos at laraveldaily.com. Or generally, if you have any Livewire example that you want to be featured on this YouTube channel, the ideas are always welcome. I will still try to shoot one Livewire related video per week on this channel. That's it for today. See you guys in other videos.